I'm reading here. The first album received decent reviews. The second album anthology was the one that got panned a bit more. Um, in fact, one publication posted their stuff without the writer's name on there because they really? Taylor Swift fans can be uh, a the bit Swifties, uh, boisterous, or vengeful. They they, they are <laughs> a little uh, they are a little involved with everything where. In some cases, they're very protective of Taylor and they want to make sure she's taken care of. And in other cases, she's mad that you're not treating her like an adult. So there's no pleasing the Swifty. The the audience is also puzzling, the the Swifties, because they're all like Taylor is a boss bitch, a strong businesswoman, a strong female in the entertainment industry. But the second somebody says something disparaging and not like you know really mean about her but it's like i don't like her music or this album was terrible or whatever we need to protect her at all costs and right. everybody get it. form a human wall and protect taylor <laughs> it's like wait is she invincible and can do whatever she wants or do you right. have to stand up and defend her because she's weak and fragile and she can't do it it's just confusing it's an enigma out. yeah you just never know which group of uh fans that we're going to get at any given moment now from my personal experience i've met the woman a few times and she's been very nice and she was very nice to members of my family when um we got to 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 meet her through work and and other stuff and uh so i don't really have anything bad about her personally um there are songs of hers that i do enjoy that blank check song or um, uh, shake it off I've warmed up to her and the idea of her and her music. Now that I have a daughter getting to that point where she's into the music. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. It's first I've mentioned it. Was she one with one of the special edition (laughs) Taylor albums that you get? You got a daughter with it? (laughs) Right. Yeah. Free with purchase. Right. The digital only. Um, And I think with uh, my uh, affinity for the chiefs and you know, that connection, it got me a little more kind of wondering like, okay, did, did she write anything about Travis in these? So like, you know, it was more of a like, all right, I got to see if she's talking ass about her boy, (laughs) you know, like it's, it's a, it's interesting. I did see some things online that apparently people are concerned for her drinking. Apparently she's drinking more because Travis, um, more than a bit of a partier, more than indulges is what I'll say. And uh, I guess there are concerns that uh, he's becoming a bad influence on her. Surprise, surprise. Her fan base doesn't like anybody that she's dating. No, no man will ever be good enough for their queen. That that relationship with her fans and her and her dating life is like you start like a girl starts dating a guy. And because her friends are giving her so much shit, she just breaks up with the person. Yeah, it's just easier because the friends automatically disapprove. And sometimes maybe rightfully so because that's what friends do but a lot of them just seem like anytime she dates somebody nope nope he's terrible he's good he's not good for you here's the tough uh in his past or whatever you need to break up with him and then she's perpetually unhappy perpetually alone but the fan base still has her it's like right. they want to give her up god forbid she she comes out pregnant sometime and i'm not <laughs> gonna, like scandalous but like she's with somebody for a while and she announced that like they're going to have a kid yeah. Are they going to be like, oh my God, Mama Swift or what? Or oh, are they just God, I hope not. Turn on her or want to kill whoever the, the, the baby daddy's going to be. I, who knows? We're going way too in the weeds about Taylor stuff. 